dab it into the base evenly to get an even amount on the sponge. And I just gently blend it and kind of swipe across your face. And you want to cover every bit of skin on your face as thinly as possible. Notice how Alexis puts the base on. Always start with as little base as possible and cover the entire face, the ears, and be sure to go down the neck. Always remember that it's important to not use too much base. Instead, use a tiny bit extra in those areas where you need a little more concealment. These products are especially made to cover perfectly with the thinnest application and nothing looks as bad as too much makeup or base. You really, really need base. No matter how beautiful your skin is, your makeup won't stay on. Girls say, oh, I don't need makeup, you know, because I have beautiful skin. Well, a little bit of makeup, a little bit of base holds the blush on, holds the eyeshadow on. It's, it's, it's the only way. It's professional and that's how we all do it. Most women stop with their base right here, and you see them like walking around the market, and it just looks so funny. Right yeah, you have to like take it all the way down and blend it. It just takes an extra two seconds to do that, and it looks so much more finished. It's nice to take the clean side of your sponge after you've applied the base all over your face, on your eyelids, corners of the nose, everywhere, down the chin line. Then take a clean sponge, and just gently blend and blend. You'll be surprised how little comes off on your sponge. Oh. Yeah, it feels, you know, like more than it really is, but this goes on very natural. And like I said, if you need a little more coverage, just add a little more in that spot, but you don't have to do the okay. whole face heavy. Okay. Always, always go over your eyelids a couple times. Just always blend it into the eyelid, which will hold the eyeshadow on too. It's a great, uh, great like natural adhesive. Our base is so great that it works as a concealer. A lot of people won't need concealer, maybe just a little tiny bit. So you can use the makeup, the base as a concealer. If it's not enough, then you add a little more concealer Concealed. on top of it. I'm just gonna put some concealer just in the, the deep depression where it makes people look like they have a shadow under their eye. And you just blend it and you don't put too much because you don't want it to get too heavy or too creasy. And you just pat it with your finger. Just pat it gently. Don't ever put it out, out here. It'll look like a raccoon. Powder is the key tip or trick to keeping your makeup on all day and you just tap, 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 gently but firmly. Is there such thing as gently but firmly? <laughs> <laughs> every little bit of the makeup, the base, foundation, every little bit of it. This is the key trick to keeping your makeup on all day. You have to powder. Very, very important and you powder the concealer. That's a great tip because most people don't know that and it'll make the concealer stay on all day long. See this little bit of water? You just tip the end of your sponge just a little bit. You just kind of squeeze it out and you run it underneath your eyes gently. If there's any little streakies or little lines, it just helps blend it in and gives it a more natural look. Don't rub too hard. The duster brush is a big fluffy brush and if you have any excess powder on your face and you want it to even, you know, look more natural, just buff it. Almost like you're doing a buffing a shoe. <laughs> Close your eyes so you don't get it in your eye. And I'm just going to kind of buff your face quickly. This takes a second. This buffs the excess powder away and it makes it glow a little bit more and makes it look a little more natural.